Now, you can imagine the scene during pre-season testing, right? All the F1 boffins with their clipboards and intense stares are usually just looking for tiny aerodynamic tweaks. Then, suddenly cameras catch Lewis Hamilton on a straight, giving his steering wheel a little push and then a little pull. Cue the collective record scratch across the paddock. The jaws dropped faster than a driver losing a front wing. Did you see that? What was that? Are they uh, pushing their steering wheel? The buzz was instantaneous. Rival teams immediately ran to their rule books, flipping frantically through pages, probably muttering things like, surely that's illegal. It looks like a movable aerodynamic device. Because in F1, if it moves and it's not a wheel or a driver's head, it's usually a big no-no. Mercedes, cool as cucumbers, or maybe just very well rehearsed, simply said, oh, that? That's just part of our suspension system. Totally legal. They had, apparently, consulted the FIA well in advance, getting a nod of approval for the 2020 season. It complied with the letter of the law, even if it might have punched the spirit of the regulations right in the gut. The FIA, in their infinite wisdom, basically said, well, it's a steering system that affects the toe of the wheels, and that's not explicitly banned as a movable aerodynamic device. So, carry on. But just because something's technically legal doesn't mean the rest of the grid isn't furiously banging on the FIA's door demanding answers, or at least a highly detailed blueprint. The rival teams were livid. Not just because Mercedes had found another genius loophole, but because developing something like DAS from scratch mid-season would have cost millions, money they simply didn't have, especially with a new set of radical technical regulations looming for 2022, which was then brought forward to 2021 due to COVID-19 delays. So, the FIA did what the FIA often does when faced with a brilliantly exploited loophole. They let it run for one season, allowing Mercedes their moment of glory, and then, with a stroke of the pen, they banned it outright for 2021 onwards. Rule Article 10.5.2 was specifically amended to prevent any adjustment of steering geometry while the car is in motion. It was a clear, unambiguous, nope, not doing that again, from the governing body. DAS was simply too clever, too effective, and too expensive for everyone else to copy. It was the F1 equivalent of bringing a bazooka to a knife fight, getting away with it once, and then having bazookas outlawed for future brawls. 